spring has finally sprung and this time of year makes us think of one thing only babies lambs hatchlings fawns but one of my favorites is tadpoles the astonishing life cycle of frogs from bunches of jelly-like eggs to riveting adults it's a tale of tales and how to lose them and it's one of the main signs that spring has finally arrived so let's get on our welly boots and go and find some my name's Darcy. I'm an artist, singer-songwriter, but above all, a nature lover. I recently finished my studies in wildlife management and I wasn't sure what to do until I asked myself what I really wanted, which is for people to see the wonder of our natural planet. I want to inspire and encourage others to get outdoors into the wild. So subscribe, stick around, and hopefully you'll leave feeling a little bit wilder. The seasonal transformation of these amphibians is one of the telltale signs that spring has arrived. At the edge of ponds and slow moving streams, frog spawn appears and hatches into tadpoles. This is a local pond near where I live. Last month I noticed the bunches of frog spawn appearing at the edges of the pond, so I've come back today to see how they're doing and if they've hatched. Oh my gosh, I can see them! Oh, look at them! There are two species of frog that are native to the British Isles. The common frog and the much rarer pool frog. They both start as frog spawn, which by the way is a soft jelly-like substance that carries the egg inside. The frog spawn of the common frog can be found just below the surface of ponds and other shallow still water across the UK from around February onwards. It can be a risky strategy, but the hope is, is that the spawn and tadpoles will develop quickly enough to emerge as froglets before the puddles dry up. These tadpoles eventually develop arms and legs that these young frogs, called froglets, cutest name ever, use to leave their ponds behind. It takes around three weeks for young tadpoles to emerge. Tadpoles are fully aquatic and have gills that they use to breathe underwater as they forage and feed. In younger tadpoles, the gills are external and visible with a microscope or a magnifying glass. So young tadpoles eat things like algae and small plants, but as they grow and turn into froglets, they munch on leaves, moss, and even small insects. How does a tadpole go from a tadpole to a frog? As the months pass from April to May, you'll see dramatic changes as they go from tadpoles to froglets. This process is called metamorphosis and it means that the animal undergoes striking alterations in their appearance as they grow. Another example of this is butterflies. After about 16 weeks from when tadpoles hatch, the legs begin to form, followed by arms. The tails are gradually absorbed into the body and then lungs are also formed which allows the frog to breathe outside of water. Their diet also changes. These young frogs can now eat an array of invertebrates such as flies, snails and slugs. At around two to three years old, the frogs are now ready to breathe and can restart the life cycle. But some of the largest threats to frogs and other amphibians come from human activities. So how can we help our slippery friends? One thing we can do is we can build ponds in our garden. Make sure that you use rainwater and not tap water, but there are loads of ways we can do this and I will be sure to link some below. As well as making our own little ponds, we can make shelter for them out of rocks, leaves, logs, and this adds as protection from predators and shelter. One of the best and easiest things we can do is to avoid using pesticides and slug pellets in our garden. These are extremely poisonous to frogs and other amphibians and can also affect tadpoles on how they develop and can cause them deformities. Another way we can support frogs is signing petitions that help them. I will link these below as well and keep an eye out for any new ones. A really great website is Frog Lifers and they have loads of information on how you can help them. Providing a safe and inviting space for amphibians and other wildlife not only helps the declining populations of UK wildlife, but it also benefits us. It enhances our personal connection to nature. 
So get on your wellies and find a pond near you and maybe you'll see some tadpoles swimming around the water's edge. If you do, make sure you watch them from afar and don't touch or handle them and be very gentle when you enter the pond. Thanks for watching and I hope you feel a little bit wilder.